My name is Andrea Rodriguez and I am a recovery coach and alumni coordinator for Windmill Wellness Ranch, a treatment center for addiction and mental health. Well, the term functional alcoholic is an interesting one. When somebody usually thinks of an alcoholic, they think of the stereotypical alcoholic where somebody lives under a bridge and is drinking out of a paper bag. And so if that is not my experience, it's really hard for me to consider that maybe I'm an alcoholic. And it's really not about how you drink, it's not really about how much you drink, it's what happens when I drink. And so if I am contemplating whether I'm an alcoholic or not, I can, I can ask myself, when I don't want to drink, do I end up drinking anyway? Or if I, when I'm drinking, can I control the amount that I'm taking? And if I can pass those two tests, then that might not be the issue. But if I, if I continually practice those things and, and I find that I cannot pass those tests, that may be something to look at. Well, when somebody thinks about the word alcoholic, also uh, I think about everything falling apart. All the stuff on the outside starts to fall apart. And if I am able to keep my job, if I'm able to show up when I say I'm gonna show up, if I'm able to pay my bills, then I may have trouble accepting that. I'm really comparing my insides to everybody's outsides. And if I can look good on the outside, then nobody really knows what's going on on the inside. What's interesting is when I'm contemplating if I'm an alcoholic and everything on the outside is manageable, I'm comparing my insides to everybody else's outsides. And if it looks good on the outside, there's nothing to see over here. And it's very easy to continue the behavior. It, even if the external is manageable, what is, is my internal world manageable? Am I full of depression? Am I full of anxiety? Am I full of fear? Am I full of secrets? Those are the things that I ask myself, and so I look at alcohol as my solution to life. And if I can live without having to turn to alcohol, then that might not be a problem. But if I do use alcohol as my solution to life, that's something to look at. I think that people tend to get themselves in trouble as, being, as far as being a functional alcoholic is with the dishonesty. The dishonesty, the deception, the secrets, the unmanageability of trying to remember what lies I told who, um, what I, what story, keeping my story straight, just the, the internal turmoil of the double life. Everything looks good on the outside, but really in secret, I'm doing this over here. But I don't want to ask for help because that would mean I was, people tend to think that that's a weakness by asking for help and it's really not. What's interesting about alcoholism is that it is progressive. And so if everything is held together for a period of time and things start to slowly fall apart or it progressively gets worse. And so I'm drinking more, I'm telling more lies, I'm keeping up the, char the charade, I'm keeping up the facade. And that can go only go on for so long until things start to unravel. And sometimes it happens quickly and sometimes it takes years to unravel. And it's like, how long do I want to suffer? How long do I want to just exist like this? Or do I want to learn how to fully live? So what's also interesting about alcoholism is that it is my solution to life. And if somebody confronts me about it and I'm not ready to give it up, I can get very defensive because if that's my only solution to life, the thought of living without it is terrifying. So in my own personal journey, I did not want to accept that I was an alcoholic because I thought that if I admitted that I was an alcoholic, that I'm a loser and that that is all there is to me. And so I resisted it for years and I tried to figure out a way that I could control it and manage it and function. But what I learned is that it wasn't until I admitted it, accept a solution, and then I get the, to discover the journey of who I really am. I am an alcoholic, but that is not all there is to me. There's a lot more to me than that. Once I accepted the solution and I started the journey of discovering who I really was, I realized that all those years that I was trying to resist getting help, I was simply existing and I wasn't truly living because the thought of being in my own sober skin was absolutely terrifying. But once I did embrace the lifestyle of recovery and I, discovered, I started the journey of discovering who I really was without alcohol, the rewards are amazing. And I finally got to be, I finally learned, I was taught. I had to be teachable, but I had to learn that it was absolutely okay just to be me. A lifestyle in recovery is so much more than just being sober. If I'm just sober and I don't work on the living part, it can be pretty miserable. Recovery is about learning how to live and create a life in which I don't want to change the way that I feel.
Thanks for watching. We know that if you've seen this video, chances are someone you love is struggling with addiction, and we want to help. We have a free family course at windmillfamilycourse.com. Sign up to check out some of the most important topics that help family members around this struggle. Your family has hope.